In the business world, there are many times when you want to be able to compare some sort of measurement against a target value. For example, if a company manufactures empty bottles for their customers, they want each bottle to be roughly the same weight. But when you produce a very large number of these bottles, it's not very practical to weigh each individual bottle to check the weight. For this reason, companies may choose to randomly select bottles, weigh them, and then use an easy statistical test to see how the weight of the selected bottles compares to the target weight. If you work in the HR department of a large company, there are always multiple teams within HR that want to send feedback surveys to gather employee opinions. There may also be teams within other functional areas, such as marketing and supply chain, that want to gather employee feedback on how they are performing in meeting the needs of their internal customers. All of this together usually adds up to far too many surveys being sent to employees. For this reason, most companies tell their internal functions to send surveys to a random sample or subset of their employees rather than sending surveys to everyone. Like the manufacturer I mentioned, HR and other departments can use the same easy statistical test to compare the results of survey questions to any target goals they may have. The test I'm going to teach you is called the One Sample T-Test, and I'll show you how to apply this to both the manufacturer's example and the HR survey example. Don't worry about what the name of the test means, just remember to use this test to compare one sample of something to a target value. I'll show you how to run this test in Excel and Minitab. I'll also post link references for the capabilities within Power BI, Tableau, and R. Let's get started. In Minitab, I've pasted my data here, so my 100 weights as my sample. And to conduct the one sample t-test in this software, you just go up to Stat, Basic Statistics, and pick the one sample t-test. Now it's going to ask you to pick your column of data, so I have selected column 1, which is weight in grams. And I would like to tell it that I would like to compare my data to the value of 9.25. So Minitab gives me the following results. Now it's telling me I had 100 data points. The average of my data is 9.27 grams, roughly. And then down below here is where it's actually done my comparison to the value of 9.25. So we are testing the hypothesis, which is really just a supposition. So we are testing the supposition that the average of our data will be close to 9.25. And then we check this p-value. If this p-value is less than 0.05, we can say that the average of our data, so the average weight that we recorded, is statistically significant from 9.25. If this value had shown up as a number greater than 0.05, then we would conclude that the difference that we're seeing is actually possibly happening by chance. Now, if you don't have statistical software, that's OK, because you can run a lot of these functions inside Excel. One thing to note, though, is that Excel does not have a one sample t-test. But what we can actually do is get it to run a two sample t-test where we're actually going to create a second variable that holds our target value. So here's what that means. I've still got all of my weights of my 100 samples in this column here. That is my first variable. The second variable, the dummy variable that we're going to create, we're just going to populate with our target value of 9.25. And then what we're going to tell Excel to do is to compare this first sample, which is our measurements, against that second sample, which is a hard-coded number of 9.25. So it's a constant. And here's how we do it. On the Data tab, look for the Data Analysis button. If you don't see it, this is a free add-on that you can turn on in Excel. We will select the two sample, assuming unequal variances. And then what I've told it is that my first variable is column B, which are all of our weights. And then the second variable is column C, which is just that constant target value of 9.25. Now Excel wants you to tell it what the, your hypothesized mean difference is. We're going to test to see if these two things are equal, column B and column C. So we're going to hypothesize or presume that the difference is zero. 
I have turned on this little check mark here because since I have selected all of the columns, it means I also picked the headers at the top. So put the little check mark here. If you just selected the numbers and not the headers, then make sure there is no check mark. You'll see in a second why I turned this check mark on. So it's run our t-test. And if we take a look at this, this is why I put the little check mark on. It just does a nice label for you at the top here. But to check now what the result of our test is, we look at these two p-values. And you'll notice that there's a one tail and a two tail. The question we're trying to answer is, are our measurements for those weights different than 9.25? Different means they could be larger and they could be smaller. So there's two directions. That means we want to look at the two tail value and compare that to 0.05. It is substantially less than 0.05. So this tells us that the difference between what we've measured in our sample that averages 9.27 is different enough from 9.25 that we can call it statistically significant. Now, if we were only testing one direction, meaning we either wanted to test whether it was substantially greater than or substantially less than, but not both, then we would be looking at the one tail value. So now let's take a look at how we apply this to some of our HR data. In this particular example, we're looking at the responses from an engagement survey question, specifically question five. So HR wants to know, did employees answer this question differently this year relative to how they answered it last year? Now last year, they answered with an average score of 4.5. And the question on the table is that since the average this year is 4.44, is that little bit of a drop in the score significant or is it close enough that we could say it happens by random chance because we didn't survey everybody, we picked a sample of people to ask these questions. So it's the same procedure as when we use the manufacturing data. We're on the data tab. We click on data analysis and we're picking the two sample assuming unequal variances. So we're running the t-test. The first variable is column B, which is all of our scores from the engagement question from our employees. Variable two is column C, which is the dummy variable populated with our target value of 4.5. The hypothesized mean difference is zero because we are hypothesizing or supposing that the difference is zero, i.e. the values are equal between these two samples. And we're gonna use the t-test to prove whether that's not the case. So the results of our t-test are on the screen and what we are interested in are these two p-values here. Okay. Now we take a look at these values and we can actually see that neither one of them is less than 0.05. So that is telling us that there is not a statistically significant difference between the value of 4.44 and our target value of 4.5. Now, you'll also notice that what we had on the screen here was we are not looking at two directions. We're only looking at greater than. So the p-value that is of most interest to us is actually the one tail. So think about that in terms of one direction. We're interested in comparing these two samples within one direction. So it is possible sometimes that you'll have one p-value that is less than 0.05 and perchance the other one is not. So you wanna make sure you're looking at the right p-value. I've now flipped over to Minitab to show you how you can do the same thing inside this application. So you can see that we've put in our engagement question scores. We do not have to create a dummy variable because Minitab does have a one sample t-test function. I can click on stat, basic statistics, one sample t, and I have selected my engagement question scores as the variable to use. And I would like to compare it to that value last year of 4.5. So the output now tells me I had 100 observations, i.e. I sampled 100 employees with this survey. The average score on this question was 4.44. And then down here is the hypothesis testing result, so the result of the t-test. The p-value is 0.384. We can see that this is not less than 0.05, just as we saw in Excel. 
Therefore, we would conclude that there is no statistically significant difference between the values last year of 4.5 and this year's value of 4.44. The one sample t-test is an excellent tool for determining how much of a difference between a measurement and a target value is large enough that you cannot attribute that difference to random chance. As you can see from this video, it's a simple test that anyone can use. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to press like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive a message when new videos are released. You can also explore the other videos in this series or visit our website for more information on how to use data analysis to improve your business.